hi guys you're welcome back to the channel so today we are going to be learning how to cut and sew a female trouser okay so if this is your first time you're highly welcome and to the old subscriber thanks for coming back so if this looks like something you're interested in kindly watch this video to the end okay so guys we're going to be starting with the front pattern and first thing we'll do now is to draw a margin line just like i have here okay and from there you take your trouser length just like you see me doing okay that line is also your waist line so from the waistline now what you want to do is to take your crotch depth okay and for the crotch depth we are going to be using our hip measurement divided by four so whatever you have you measure from the waist down then you create a line so that line is your crotch line okay so this part is the center and this part is the side so the next thing we want to do now is to take our hip line measurements come up from your crotch line by two inch or you simply impute your hip line measurements so you connect with a line like this just like i'm doing and that is your hip line measurement so from here to here is your crotch depth okay and to do that you divide your hip by four okay and from the crotch depth now you go up by two inch for your hip line or you impute your hip measurements hip line measurements directly okay so on this crotch line now we want to get our lap measurements or our tie we are going to be dividing our tie by 2 plus 0 0.5 and you mark it can be 0 0.5 or 0 0.75 okay so after that now we are going to divide our hip by 4 okay and we are going to be marking it on the waistline like you see me doing then you do the same thing on the hip line do we get divide your hip by four mark on the waist and the hip and connect it like this just like you see me doing okay you can extend the line to the crotch depth okay the next thing we want to do now is to create our curve to do that you can get your crotch extension by simply dividing your hip by 20 or you simply come out by two inch then you connect with a curve like i'm doing just hope you understand so the next thing you want to do now is to take the waist measurement you're going to be starting from the center front towards the side then you are going to add your dart allowance okay because i'll be adding that to this trouser then you connect to the hip line like you see me doing okay i just hope we get my explanation so after which you are done that on this crotch line again you are going to be dividing whatever you have there by two okay you will extend your tape to where you have your crotch extension okay you find the midpoint and mark like so okay so from here you connect down with a straight line and we are going to be getting our green line to make that easier you can simply measure what you have at the side and measure it downward just like you see me doing then you connect like so okay so this will enable you get the center and you'll be imputing all other measurements by the sides of the line just watch what i'm doing carefully you understand i guess you can see the lines so on this line now we are going to be imputing our measurements so before that now we want to get the knee points so if you don't have your knee points measurements just divide whatever you have from here down to the trouser length by two okay whatever you have the measurements you mark it and come up by 1.5 inch so that should be your knee line area okay so now what we want to do next is to connect the lines but before then we're going to be imputing our knee measurements so for the knee measurements divided by two okay whatever you have divided by two again and you divide the measurements on both sides of the lines okay so you do the same thing on the length of the trouser impute your measurements then you connect like this you'll be using your curve root to connect from the tie area to the knee and you'll be using a straight ruler to connect from the knee to the trouser length okay just watch what i'm doing closely so 
the measurement i'm talking about the other time is that for example if your knee measurement is 20 you divide into 2 that is 10 so that's 10 you're going to divide the 10 again that is 5 inch each so the 5 inch you'll be putting 5 inch on both side of the middle line so that is what i'm seeing then after that now you connect from the hip to the knee and from the knee to the trouser length on both sides of your pattern okay so after that now the next thing you want to do is to cut it out but before then you can just simply take your dart immediately okay and make sure your fabric is folded into two this way okay so now i'm going to be taking the dart we already have our midpoint you can trace the line upward that is where you will be imputing your darts you mark it like so then you're going to be taking 0 0.5 on both sides okay so you are just going to measure it you can do it this directly on your fabric or maybe by the time you want to stitch it and the dart length is going to be around 4 to 4.5 inch maximum okay then you just connect like so so after that you can simply cross check what you have on the waistline before cutting it out okay and as for the crotch make sure you avoid too much curve okay you can make it of a free hand and you can also use your curve rule, okay depending on what works for you so guys i'll be all for the front and as you can see i'm cutting it out remember we don't have any sewing allowance you're going to be adding that to the back pattern okay so after cutting it out like this the next thing you want to do is to notch this part you have to notch that. it like i'm doing okay so that you know where exactly to hold or fix your dart okay so after which i've done this the next thing is to place the front pattern on the back part this way you're going to be folding your fabric and the way you're going to be folding is make sure that this part that is extended make sure it's up to about three inches allowance and by the time you are placing the front on the other fabric make sure the sides are lines okay then after this now you can just cross check if you have up to three inches around this part okay because you are going to be extending the crotch and other places at the back pattern so from here i'll be extending by 2.5 inches you can just simply draw out all these important lines this way okay so on this waistline what you are going to do first thing is to come up by one inch from these points okay mark it this way and on the waistline you divide your waist by four whatever you have you mark it like so okay plus your dart allowance do you understand so after which you had mark it out this way we are going to be adding two inch okay you can add three three point five to four depending on the person's size okay it depends on the size you are working with but for me i'll be using two inch because this is my measurement then you connect back to the waistline like that so from here now you connect back to the crotch with a straight line okay so after that now you connect back again to that line with a curve you can simply use your curve rule if you are good with it to just draw it directly as you can see it is almost the same thing it's actually the same thing and you can do it one after the other just like i've done it okay so this depends on what really works for you and what you are good with okay so after which i have done that we're going to be connecting the other side as well so this part i'm going to be using 2.5 inch and every other part i'm going to be using 2 inch do we understand okay so this depends on the size you're working with but 2 inch is almost um almost perfect or well, i don't know how to say it this is what most people use okay by the time you do your calculations is almost um on the same line okay i just hope you understand my point so by the time you are connecting this part make sure that 
you avoid too much curve okay it's important just have a slight curve around that part so me i don't, actually don't want this to be too big it is for me so i want it to be a little bit smart okay so and we're just going to be cutting out exactly how the front pattern you place or it it is as how you're going to be cutting out you're not adding allowance to that side all the allowance we needed has been added to the front to this um, other side okay so guys you're just going to be cutting it out according to the new lines you have so thank you very much for watching to this moment do not forget to subscribe like and share this video then you can also drop your thoughts about this video i would like to see them okay so guys i'm done cutting and this is what we have okay our pattern is ready so for the front i have two and back also i have two piece that makes it four so this part it is the allowance we added i said earlier that we can add up to three to three point five depending on the size we are working with you can even add four if you are working with a bigger size okay so that will be all for this so the next thing we want to do now is to start stitching together but the way we are going to be doing it okay we are going to be starting with the dart for the front and for the back pattern we are going to be stitching the dart first that should be the first thing so after which you have stitched your darts this way you stitch the front and you stitch the back as well then we are going to be stitching the side we are going to be sewing the sides together so as for the back that simply mark it out so that you don't get confused okay so after that now we want to join this side together i'll just open up this part like this okay so we are going to be joining the sides together before the crotch okay so the back crotch is where we are going to be joining last okay but after that we join the front crotch together then we join the back crotch as well but that will be after you have taken the dart for both front and back so i'll just do that and show us now guys i already joined the sides together you'll be joining one side of the front and one side of the back together after which i've joined the darts okay then i joined the front crotch okay then the sides so the back crotch will be the last thing you will join together so before you do that now you're just going to take your waist measurements once again divided by two this time around not four okay so whatever measurement you have you mark it whatever allowance you have left do not worry okay just make sure that you take your exact measurements and mark it out okay so for this you are going to be joining a side zipper you're going to be fixing a side zipper so that zip allowance must also be considered okay so then you now connect back to the crotch but make sure that by the time you get to the crotch area you're just sewing on 0.5 seam allowance do not sew exactly what you have on the waist on the crotch okay but just make sure you take your accurate measurements on the waistline except you are going to be using an elastic band but for this you are going to be using a zip okay so guys i'll just do that now we fix our zip before fixing the band and this is what we have at the end i already fixed my side zip and as you can see this is the band i'll be joining the band from the inside and i'll be turning it outside the trouser okay so i'll just quickly run through that now and show us how exactly it's going to look like before the final product so guys this is what i have at the end i already fixed my band and as you can see the waist area is giving this slight curve i just hope we know how to cut a waistband if not we can find the link in the description box i'll be dropping a link on how to cut a waistband okay so and this is what we have already joined the sides and this is how the trouser should look like at the end this is the back and here is the front so the way i join my band i have an overlap by the side so that is where i'll be fixing my fastener 
and i'll be using a hook and line around that area i guess we know what hook and line it is so you should have an overlap and if you don't want to have an overlap it's it's okay you can make use of your button and button holes as well so guys thank you very much for watching this video do not forget to subscribe click on the subscribe button it's on the notification bell so that whenever i drop a new video you'll be notified and on this video as well you can drop your thoughts in the comment section and see you in my next video bye